Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Studio Rays, Boys in Their Toys. I got a little unboxing here. I have the Depth Tech, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, Endoscope for your phone. Alright, so we're going to do a quick unboxing. Um, let you see how it comes. It's how it's shipped to you. Nice box here, as you can see. I'm moving a little place. This is the industry endoscope. All right, it's made in China. Now, the reason for me picking this up um, again, uh, these things are now really inexpensive. Uh, it's something I've been watching for quite a t quite a while, and the technology has improved. Um, this is a wireless. It works on uh, your Wi-Fi. To sync with your phone, and if you guys don't know what it uh, uh, endoscope is, it's like it's just a little camera, all right, that allows you to get into tight locations. So this one here, you can see, is waterproof standard, all right, has adjustable LED, and has a uh, high vision. Um, okay, so this is a quick unboxing. Let you see what it comes in the box. Um, this is the the battery pack. Um, I had it charging for a little bit here, and as you can see, it comes with a a cable to charge it, and and that's it. All right, um, it's on and off switch right here. Um, this part here. Is the light as you can see you can turn down the intensity of the light uh, depending what what you're looking at um, with this you're gonna have to download an app into your phone um, I'll see if I can set up and show you what I'm talking about if it's possible um, and here's the charging cable now I, I can't lie I kind of looked at this before recording this video and they get it all charged up and I recommend, um, again, it's not needed. I don't know the battery life on this, how long will it last. But what I end up doing, um, if you have one of these battery, um, spare batteries, like auxiliary batteries, I use this along with this connector. As you can see, mine has a USB. I'll slap that on in that. And what I did, I just simply plugged it in and so therefore it always gives it power when I'm using it so I won't run out of power so as you can see I turned it on and it's automatically charging it up so it, I recommend if you're gonna use this and you're not sure if you need it for a long time to run on ba battery power get one of these and, and charge it up to here I keep this with me for my phone but my battery life on my phone uh, it's really good so I really don't use it that often so I'm glad I have it and I can use it for this application all right and it's just a portable camera guys um, right here um, uh, it comes with a long cable so if you have to snake this through something to look for any type of whatever you're investigating like if you're using car repairs um, if you need to snake behind a wall you want to see what's behind the wall and you want to you don't want to make a big um, big hole you just put a little hole in here snake this through and it gives you a good visual on what's what you're looking at so it's just a little tool all right guys it's just an extra tool now I want it in my bag if I ever need it initially um, I was running some wires and that's why I bought this uh, but this is ideal if you're getting older uh, if you have to look underneath a sink or something like that and you don't want to feel like breaking your back trying to look at tight corners pick something up like this because again it, and what I like about this one this is Wi-Fi dependent so you don't have to worry about connection into your phone which those are good too but if you end up changing your phone the connected might not be compatible so I figured get why not get something with Wi-Fi compatible so um, it also comes with a another I believe this is another camera or head yes yeah, the head um, so 
if you need to snake it through something uh, or, or you drop something you need a little hook so it has all different type of contraction this one is a uh, if you end up dropping a, a screw it's a little magnetic screw here to help you pick it up so that's a good look all right um, and what else it has with this I'm kind of this was like a spontaneous buy when I saw online on Amazon so and again it was had one of those flash sales so let me pick one up and uh, this is the one I decided to go with all right this one here I guess has another some type of mirror on it so I guess if you need to look around corners or something so again I'm pretty sure I can put this to work in some application um, but I like to have it and not to have it and again it's like these are boys in their toys and we buy toys and this will seem like a cool tool to, toy to have in my toolbox all right so I just wanted to bring it to you uh, I'm pop that in there and yeah, I'll fix it later but that's what it is guys um, I'll see if I can set up a camera on my phone to show you exactly what kind of app and what it shows all right so let's try to let me see if I can get that set up but again it has the all the directions on uh, what you need to do again this is Wi-Fi dependent so you have to be uh, have to sync it to your to your phone through Wi-Fi for it to work all right so let's uh, let's see if I can get that set up and see uh, the other part of it okay all right guys um, as you can see here I have my phone set up and I'm gonna do now what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to download a app um, and I believe I already have that app already downloaded alright and the desktop app so once you have that you're gonna have to turn on your Wi-Fi alright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a start and you're gonna see these you know they give you options here you're also gonna have to go to your your settings in your Wi-Fi all right all right and what what you're gonna have to do what I'm gonna have to do I have to turn it on first and when it's on, you'll see on your little, your box, there's a little Wi-Fi blue light saying it's transmitting. And once it's transmitted, I'm looking for it. Yeah, you have to, it's the just right here. You have to click that on. All right, and then it's going to tell you to put a password, the universal passwords in, in the instructions. So once that's in there, it'll be transmitting to the device. And let me see if I can get this to work for you guys to show you the quality if it's possible. let's go again start it up and there it is all right and I hope you can see that right now it's just looking around my den area and I hope you see that the video is pretty good you know it's another look at it so and everything's coming through this little camera that's on top of here and again on the box itself you can adjust the t intensity of the of the light so if you need a little more light it'll help you out so get a little closer 
All right, so this is the endoscope. All this is happening through Wi-Fi on my camera. So I like that that there's no wires. So this, you know, your phone could be off. Somebody could be monitoring it, or you go off to the side, and they give you enough cable to snake for wherever you have to go to. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope is uh. There was kind of a spontaneous video I wanted to put this up in regards to this device. It wasn't that expensive, so I'll put a link on where I, how much I paid for it. Right now it eludes me. But again, it's an, just another tool for your bag. All right, Especially for the, when you drop those certain screws and hard to reach places. I like this part that you have a magnetic, a magnetic one to help you get those screws if you ever have to get one. So. This is a definitely uh, a good value for your toolbox, guys, for the DIY person who may need something like this. All right, there's all applications you can use this again to look underneath a sink for a leak. If you're fishing wire and you want to find out what's going on behind the wall, this is ideal. So it's one of those tools you never, you don't use it often, but when you need it, you'll be glad you have it. So again, this is the Dust Tech. In this scope for your cell phone, I'm running this on a Google Pixel 3. Um, you're able to, again to hear, you could take video if you want to record it, which is now recording. You hit that to stop it. Or you, if you just want to take a picture, it allows you to take a picture and that goes to your folder. So then there's a lot of applications with this. I, I think you can use this for. So again, if you're interested, pick one of these up. I think it's ideal for the price. Again, it's a good tool to have in your toolbox if you ever need it. All right. So, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll check you out on the next one. Peace.